Hey guys, why my pot is over there filling up with pasta water, I figured I would show you guys my favorite recipe. I'm gonna try to show it to you guys as I'm cooking today. So you're going to need some Italian style breadcrumbs. I do not like pinko crumbs, I like true breadcrumbs. A lot of eggs. You're going to need some of this style of Romano cheese. It doesn't have to be from Costco, it can be from anywhere. Honestly, living in New England, the cheapest place we found it was at Market Basket and it was already shredded, but sometimes you do have to shred it yourself, so you'll obviously need a shredder. Aubrey, can you shut the water off? You will need some vegetable oil, canola oil, whatever type of oil you want, just some oil that you can um, fry the chicken in it. Angel hair pasta, you want the thinnest pasta that you can get. A little trick I do is I always get a cheap pasta sauce and then like a more you know, higher end pasta sauce because you don't need a ton of it and this way you're making it stretch and you're not having to spend as much money. You will need chicken breast. I um, shave mine and cut them down. You will want a good cutting board because um, you, you have to not only cut your chicken, you know, cut all the fat off, but then you have to slice it in half and then um, pound it out to get it really, really thin. So that reminds me that you also are going to want a meat tenderizer. So here's mine. It's one I got from my wedding. It's chef meat. It's just from Target, so it's not even an expensive one. Um, and then you will want a good knife to cut all of the chicken down. Uh, so I like to lay everything out as I'm cooking because this meal kind of goes fast when it starts cooking. So before you do anything, you want to fill up your pot of water and you want to get it on the stove. And then you also want to fill a really deep, big pan with your oil. Um, and then once you get most of your chicken cut up, I turn on my oil and then I do the batter process while my oil is warming up. Um, and then it just makes it go that much quicker. So I'm going to go ahead and get my water on, start shaving down this cheese and cutting and slicing and prepping my meat. I should also mention that this board is from allenbooth.com. I mentioned it in the favorites video, but Allen Booth did send this cutting board to me. Uh, they have a ton of wood products, cutting board products, but I really like this, especially for this recipe because it has the handle, which just makes dealing with this a lot easier. So I'm going to go ahead and start cutting this up. Aubrey's going to start shredding the cheese to get it into this bucket. I should also mention these are from Pampered Chef and they are amazing for this recipe. Um, and I think that's all the products I really use. Oh, and I put the oil in the pan so you could see. So I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but it's a very thin layer of oil on the bottom of my pan um, because once you put your chicken in it does kind of raise it and you don't want it getting up so high that it's going to start bubbling and you know getting everywhere. I'm not the type's gotta have someone. I'm not the type's gotta be in love. I had a lot of people come and go and plus anyway I'm used to being so low but it was good when you came to me. You were the one to make me believe that life could be better that we can get All right, this is what my chicken looks like before I even cut it. So I basically took each of those big chunks you saw and I sliced it three times to make these smaller pieces. And then now I'm going to take my meat tenderizer and just really try to beat them down and get them real, real thin and just beat the crap out of them. My husband normally does this because he can get them real, real thin because he doesn't like thick chicken. Um, yeah, so it'll take me a little bit of time to do this. And then once this is done, I will turn on my oil over there. And then Aubrey's just working on the cheese, which does take a while to shred, which is why I prefer to buy it and shredded, but it's just heavy. so expensive. This is what it looks like as it just starts cooking and you just leave it here for really until you start seeing this top get brown 
and then you flip it over and then wait a few more minutes for that. I mean, you're just wanting the chicken to cook through. And then I always just like to have a big pile ready to go. Um, so once she's all done with that, I'll make these. And almost every day, life can't be better as long as we stay together. Come, come, come sit down, sit down, Let's celebrate this love, baby. Why don't we come? We know this is real. This is real. Lots of Everybody's you looking know. at me you and you, guys. We're saving our money, we're saving our money, and we be eating ice cream and cake. 